So how exactly does your body build muscle? You can either increase the number of cells, called hyperplasia, or you can make each cell bigger, called hypertrophy. When it comes to building up new muscle, your body can't build new muscle cells, so your body relies on muscle hypertrophy. To achieve muscle hypertrophy, there's a simple rule. Muscle protein synthesis needs to outweigh muscle protein breakdown. And to trigger muscle protein synthesis, you need two ingredients. But does adding protein powder to your diet help you get better results from resistance training? Well, there have been so many studies done on the topic. Found it. Published in 2017 in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, this is the largest review so far on whether protein supplementation leads to gains in muscle mass and strength. It combined the results of 49 randomized control trials. In these trials, almost 2,000 people were put on a resistance training program. In these people, the average protein intake even before supplementation was approximately 1.4 grams of protein per kilogram per day. And this is already above the recommended dietary allowance of 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. The experimental group received an additional protein supplement of 36 grams per day on average, with almost half of the trials using whey protein. The control group most commonly received a carbohydrate supplement to make sure that the total calories were the same as the experimental group. The researchers found that the benefit of protein supplementation plateaued after a total daily intake of 1.6 grams of protein per kilo per day. Even though protein supplementation did have a benefit, it's not as impressive as you might think. When it came to improvement in strength, participants who didn't use a protein supplement increased their one rep max by an average of 27 kilos just through resistance training alone. Those who were given a protein supplement had an additional benefit of 2.49 kilos. The practice of resistance exercise training is a far more potent stimulus for increasing muscle strength than the addition of dietary protein. This study recommends supplementing protein intake to an upper limit of 2.2 grams per kilo per day. But if you're an average person like me just trying to stay fit, then protein shakes will help you a bit, but not as much as getting to the gym and actually doing the work.